Buenos Dias, Gunners Collective TV. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it, right? And before we get into the content of the day, I want you to hit that like and subscribe button. Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed to the dope content that I'm bringing. And I highly appreciate all the support I'm getting. Now, you guys see the thumbnail so you already know what it is, man. I wanted to talk about an incident that happened, you know, in my time. When I was actively gangbanging and I was out there doing crime, man. It was something... I expected but didn't expect to happen so soon. You know, with the establishment of the upstate Sureños, the Southsiders, man, we really had to keep our head on civilization. We really had to be aware of our surroundings at all times because you never know when the enemy would pull up, when the opposition would pull up <laughs> and never pull out, right? It definitely was going down in the Central Valley area. You know, cities like Modesto, Merced, Madera, Fresno uh, definitely had guerra happening, man. There was a lot of people getting caught up behind situations that were happening on the streets. Um, there was a lot of North and South incidences. Let's just say that. You know, so I get out in 1996, July 1996 out of CYA, um, and I think I'm that one. I think I'm the man, man. I'm pushing that North End movement to the fullest. No one can tell me shit. My family can't tell me nothing. My friends can't tell me nothing. I got it with a whole different mentality and mindset. You know, I wanted to gangbang. I felt I had already proved myself you know, behind the walls and the youth authority. So now it was time to hit the next level. So I was going to go all out, man, and do whatever I had to do with the homies um, to maintain the streets, to apply pressure to the opposition. And, you know, and at that time, the Southsiders in Atwater and Winton, which is little cities right outside of Merced, Merced County, they were thick, man. They were pretty deep. They were so deep, in fact, that if you ever went to Atwater, if you had reason to go there, um, you had to really be aware, really stay on your toes because them Vatos were not playing, man. They were holding it down for their area. They were very well established. They were very well structured, meaning that these guys, uh, you just weren't coming into their little city, their little town. Uh, you were going to get approached. Anyways, you know, as a kid growing up, I like to eat fast food, just like anyone else. Well, there was one spot in particular that had the bomb hamburgers. I don't know if you've ever been there. They have the, the seasoned fried, they still hit. They're different, right? Um, it was a place called Foster Freeze, and there was only two located in the county that I was aware of. One was in Snelling, when we used to go fishing or camping on our way out towards Snelling, we'd hit that little Foster Freeze. I think it was called Tasty Freeze or something. It was different, um, but there was one Foster Freeze, and it was located in Atwater, right in the central, meaning right in the right in the heart of Atwater. So you were guaranteed to see some opposition. You were guaranteed to get into some funk, man. And there were several times. Um, that we would see hella heads there, man. Fuck it. We're going to pull up. You know what I mean? It's, it, it is what it is. We're going to go get us them season fries. That's a fact. So I remember on this day, man, I was chilling with a whole bunch of homeboys and we got the munchies. Homeboys were smoking yes, guy, kicking back, you know, just doing it, having it their way like the Burger King. But instead of going to Burger King, we wanted to go hit Foster Freeze. Now we already knew what that entailed. It was a mission, homes. It wasn't like just go to the restaurant, fuck it, homes. It is what it is. Nah, you had to be aware. I had had a homeboy that had lost his life already at Foster Freeze. Um, he happened to go. I've told the story before. He went there, man, late night uh, for his wife, you know, to get some ice cream. She was pregnant and, and he got murdered. So anyways, we already knew exactly uh, what this was. Now, that happened after. But I'm saying that there were plenty of incidences that did happen that eventually came. But anyway, so... We're kicking back, man. The homeboy's like, hey, let's go hit Foster Freeze. They got the bomb-ass dipped cones. They had the dipped cones. You dip them in chocolate. They're fucking, they're tasty, right? <laughs> so fuck it, let's go. Um, but we had to strap up. We have to get ready because it's just not like going to any average restaurant, you know? And I know the only thing I could, uh, 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 that I could reference it to or that people could understand is like in Los Angeles, in LA. There's so many streets divided. There's so many different barrios. You have so many enemigas, so many enemies on the next street over. Um, that there were certain stores or certain areas that everybody went to, but you had to be on your shit. You had to be on your toes because if you got caught slipping, they're going to fucking pull your pants down and spank you, homie. It was going to be, it was going to happen, right? So I told the homies, all right, we're going to go. We're going to go, homie. You know what I mean? It's going to go all out. There was contingency plans for this shit, right? Look at plan A. We go, we go get the double dip cones, some season fries, and we get the fuck up out of there. Everything's good, right? Plan B, right? <laughs> We go there, we knock us some tortas, we get us a double dip cone, we get them a double dip cone, or they get us a double dip cone, and then we get the fuck on. Or three, we see some rangers and we kill them. You ready? Hike, right? There we go. Um, We already knew what it was. More than likely, we were going to run into these cats in this particular day, man. It, it happened to go down. So, anyways, I ended up getting locked up on this shit, and, and they let me out, man. I did about a couple months on this shit, finding the case, and... <laughs> 
charges drop. Anyway, so bam, we go to Foster Freeze, right? And as we're pulling up, there's a blue Impala. And I already know what time it is, man. I see one little Southsider. He's right there with his old lady, right? Big old fat chick. She, look, I'm not trying to disrespect women. That's not what I do, man. I just calls it as I sees it. You know, if she was thin, I would have said, damn, she was thin and voluptuous. But this chick was fat, but with a pretty face, right? Um, so the homeboy, he's he likes him big. He likes him bigger than big, big, right? He likes it. He like a baby, baby. He's in the biggie, small shit. So we pull up. The homie's like, damn, fool. Look at that chick. She's with the little South Sider right there, you know? He used a derogatory word that I don't use, right? And I was like, don't even trip off that fool, you know what I mean? He doesn't pose a threat. He's right there with his lady. You can see they have kids in the car. This is old school when you leave your kids in the car. Fuck it, roll the windows up. If it's hot, it's hot, right? This is back in them days. <clears throat> so, of course... We pull up. We're minding our own business. We're about five deep, man. So we're not really tripping off this guy. And he kind of sees us and he's like, oh, fuck. You can see he's getting agitated like, oh, hell no. Them northerners right there, right? But we're not really fucking tripping. Well, of course, the homeboy, you know, he's got to, he's got to say something. He's got to, not, he needs that, right? So, of course, as we're ordering, we're ordering our food. And we're looking around, man. I ain't even going to lie. We have homeboys on poste. Like, it was that type of shit. It was like false prison, right? You had to have homeboys on poste just to order shit. Homeboys are right there like, what's up? Because Vatos would come through. Them Vatos are like, they had the six in the... <laughs> and hell, the fucking cars would come to Southsiders and it'd be on. They didn't hesitate, man. One thing about A-Town and Atwater, them Vatos did not fucking hesitate, man. They were about the shit, man, back in the days. So anyways, we're right there. I'm ordering, yeah, I'll take the, you know, the, the biggest burger you guys got. Double it up. And diabetes, here I come in the future, right? So I'm ordering mine. And the homeboy starts to chop it up with that cat and the chick. And now the cat, we know he's a Southsider. There's, look, the Vato's bald, he's short, he's got a fucking blue uh, uh, belt. He's got the huaraches. I mean, you could tell, right? But at the same time, he's more like, he was an older cat, so he was more like calm and relaxed. And one thing about us is we're very respectful towards, towards veteranos. Didn't matter what side you were from. Now, if you had that look, homie, and you look like you wanted that smoke, you can definitely get it. But if you were just kicking back, man, we had love for... For the raza, right? Period. So anyways, he's chopping up with him. And, and, and I guess he starts to flirt with that dude's old lady. And the dude starts to get upset. So they're over here to the side waiting on the food by the cars, right? We're right there in the front. The homeboy's on post. And I'm right there just looking, right? And I got the thing on me. So now the homeboy's talking. And we see, I see him start to argue with the guy. So we walk over there quick, you know, like, what's up? And that dude's like, hey, homie, what's up? Why are you guys disrespecting my old lady? And I was, I look at the homeboy like, oh, hell no, bro. And the homeboy's like, she, she's feeling the motherfucker. She's staring me up and down. She wants to lick me up and down till I say, freak me, baby. I'm like, oh, nah, man. Here we go, right? The homeboy's a fool. So I'm like, hey, no disrespect. It's all good. And he's like, nah, fuck all that, bro. You know what I mean? He goes, hey, I ain't no punk. I'm from LA. I said, I said oh, shit. Here we go, right? And it was the cats. And look it, I'm going to be honest with you. There was a lot of cats from Maytown Outwater. They had just got off on site because they were more the common enemy. But these cats that would move in from L.A. and establish, and there was a lot of cats at that time moving in from L.A. and Outwater because that was like a stronghold for the Southsiders. It was just, it was all love for them. They got very, a lot of respect, right? You know, um, they were different, homes. They were different. They were more on respect. They were more on just low-key shit. Um, but they were about that surrender business. So anyways, you know, he's like, I'm from L.A., I said. And then my homeboy said, and what does that mean? You know, what does that mean? Are we busters or what? You know what I mean? Is that, is that what that means? He's like, look, I'm not even trying to gangbang anymore. I let that shit go a long time ago. But at the same time, Holmes, I'm not going to be going out. Eh? Wait, 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 wait. Is it cool? Does it look good? Does it look good? I'm from Lord. Does it look good? You know, in LA, we got better barrochas than everybody. How does it look? It looks good. It looks good. You're just telling me that because you're from up north. How does it look? It looks good. All right. Okay, back to the plate, though. So anyways, he's like, nah, hey, I don't take kindly for disrespect. It's whatever, right? So the homeboy's like, "Is hey, look, bro, if you want it, you can get it, right? He's like, nah, 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 I'm cool, I'm cool, whatever. They got their dipped cone and pushed, right? So we're sitting there, and the homeboy's like, fuck these fools, man, let's eat our food right here. And my other homeboy, he's a youngster, he's like, nah, fuck that, hey, remember last time they hit us with bats and shit? I'm like, nah, fuck it, man. Hey, we're gonna, we do what we do, let's say, right? Hey, fuck it, let's get on down the road, let's say. So we're kicking it. And um, that fool comes back, right? He comes back, and he has like four or five homeboys with him. Youngsters, eight towners, right? These fools don't hesitate. They get off there like, hey, fuck these dip, hey, fuck these dip cones. I said, what's happening? So, right? Melee. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. We get into it. It is what it is. No straps get pulled, no bats, no knives, no battery packs, no things of that nature. It's just, it happens, right? Okay, bam, we bounce. 
So we're back in the hood. It's all good. We got away with this situation. Well, the homies are like, fuck these fools, man. Let's double back. They be hanging out at this. There's a little park, like a little, little tiny park. Um, it's got, they don't even got a slide. It's just a bench and fucking trees with leaves. He's like, let's go back. Them fools will be posted up right there. You know they're going to be posted up there because they've seen us at Foster Freeze. So now they're going to think, oh, we're going to come back. And we are. It's it. Right? Let's go. Norteños mount up. Regulators, right? So I'm like, fuck it. Let's go. So we went back, right? Mistake. <laughs> you know what I mean? So as we pull up to the Foster Freeze, you know, now we're two car loads deep. Now we went with some backup, eh? Not that we didn't handle our business the first time, but now we went to go look for trouble, right? This was how it was back in the days, man. You didn't take no L's. You know, if you did take one, you always fought to live to fight another day, Craig, right? You always came right back. So, bam, we pull up, and there's like three or four little dudes sitting on this little bench across the street, and the homie's like, hey, I'm going to go up and kill one of them, right? I was like, hey, fucking kill them all, right? So the homie's like, fuck that, I'm going to go over there, eh? So a few of the homeboys mob over there. We're posted up waiting because we already know more cats are going to come. We're going to hit up anyone wearing blue. We were on our color shit. Colors. Colors. God, I am a knight. You know what I mean? So we're we're on that shit. So we're waiting right there. So the homies walk across the street. You have to walk across. It's like a busy street. Hella cars going by. They go over there and next, they're chunking them, right? So we all run over there and we start chunking them. Shit, we thought we had the upper hand. We thought we were winning. Nah, we weren't winning, eh? You know? At, we're smashing. Boom, 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 boom. As we start to walk across the street, yeah, for his north, dead, dead, right? Boom, 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 boom. Two impalas, a partridge, and a fucking cutlass and a pear tree, right? All on McLean's. They pull up. Man, I never seen so many South Siders in one area since Fred C. Nellis. These vaulters jumped out like A Town SC, right? Oh, fuck no, right? I'm looking at the homeboy. He's looking at me. He's like, we're going to lose. I said, I know we're probably going to lose. But at the same time, right? I'm not going to say who did it or what happened. Shots rang out. Pow, 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 pow. Back and forth, forth and back, right? Hey, it wasn't like one of them things where fucking you remember but the movie Boys in the Hood? Hey, you got a problem, we got a problem. And the, the Africano with the Uzi and everyone takes off running. Fuck that, eh? Right? Nah. Mexicans are different, eh? Pa, 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 pa. Fuck you. Pa, pa, pa. So north, eh? Right? It's going at it, homie. Like if motherfuckers was shooting pellets or fucking uh, uh, slingshots at each other. Like it was nothing, right? I remember thinking to myself later on, you know, while I'm sitting in jail, like, damn, fool. That was stupid, right? <laughs> I could have got my whole shit bopped off. Um, I wasn't expecting that. No one gets hit, but there's a lot of gunplay, right? One thing about Mexican, we can stab shit out of someone, but can't hit. Nobody with a gun. It's, we're not hunters, homie. You know what I mean? Only for the opposition. So, bam, a lot of fools are going at it. The homies running back across the street. It's just going down. Um, I remember there was this chick. She was with this white dude, man. I feel bad for this one because the white dude was not with us. He had nothing. To, he wasn't with them. He was just trying to get him the swirly cone. He was trying to, you know, half vanilla, half chocolate. You know what I mean? He was trying to get him the half and half. Him and his old lady, he was trying to treat her to a good time. Well, they didn't have a good time. She fell. And when she fell, you know, a whole bunch of cats started to fucking get on him and stomp her out at the same time. It was ugly, man. And I remember looking. I was trying to get to her like, hey, no, that's a that's a civilian, right? But those are like, fuck you, Um, Her and, and that guy, they, they got fucked up, man. And I remember thinking to myself like, damn, this is what happens to innocent bison. See? That's be, your bitch wanted ice cream. It's on you, eh? Right? I was all fucking crazy gangster. Um, but I wasn't supposed to be that way. Now, bam, cops come. We all took off running. It's in like almost a residential neighborhood. So if you run to the back of it, there's all kinds of streets, man. And you're actually, if you run to the back, you're going towards like the Dole Company they have now, right? So anyways, I'm running. Me and a homeboy, we're hitting fences. Boom. Get down! Atwater PD. One thing about the Atwater PD, they're different than Merced. See, Merced, they'll work with you. They know us all. What are you doing, man? Let's start shooting another person. You're fucking stupid, eh? Come on, let me book you in and out. You know what I mean? He says, let me take a picture. You know what I mean? That's it. Orale. Bam. There you go. The homeboy's like, what are you doing taking pictures with placas, puto? So this guy, I don't know. Fucking, I want to say, let me take a pair of your gang tattoos. I said, not fucking with them. Pensa. You know what I mean? We already know you. We can't do shit with you. So anyways, they catch me. Boom. Atwater's different, man. They snatch us up, throw us in this little holding tank, you know, to take us to Merced County. Um, we're in there. We all catch a case, man. We're fighting it, man. Uh, they can't prove nothing. Why were you running? So I was, you know, I was jogging, eh? You know? Um, eventually, my charges get dropped. All the, Pretty much all the homies get dropped. Um, there was like three Southsiders, a couple homeboys. They did. They stood right there, you know? Uh, one homie got caught with a, a strap, I remember. Um, and that was it. 
cancel Christmas for them for a little while, right? Uh, but it was an incident that happened, and I remember after that, like maybe months later, you know, I got out. The homie was like, let's go to Foster Free. Fuck it, eh? You want to go to Hamburger? Like, let's go, right? Knowing already what happened, okay? And um, we pull up, man. You know, and, and, and there was a couple Southsiders there. They always were there. They about to fucking stood there. They lived there, right? And uh, they seen us, and we seen them, and it was kind of like a... Like a, a, a standoff, eh? The OK Corral. Nothing happened that day. But I remember thinking to myself, and I have not been to that foster care since that day. Like, you don't, you only get so much chances in life. You can only get away with so much bullshit before eventually it catches up to you, you know? Um, I've been in so much situations where it has caught up to me. You know, I have got fucking jumped on or stabbed or, or hit with bats. And, and, you know, nothing cool about that. You know, there's nothing cool about taking an L. Everyone takes them. But going back to the hood and telling the homies, hey, what the what happened to your eye, eh? Fuck, eh? It looks like you got in a fight with the Mexican monster. It looks like fucking Benavides hit you over here. Canelo hit you over there. Because this shit's going like this and that shit's going like that. Fuck, eh? Right? No, 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 no. The South Side is right? the South Side. It's always the South Side, but that pretty much. Or the homie. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. You don't want that smoke, man. Um, that's why, to me, gangbanging eventually got played out. Not because of the... Uh, you know, it was fun back then. I ain't gonna lie. Back then, gangbanging was fun. It, it was cool to, like, fight and, and have... We were young. We were a little funky, right? It was cool. Um, as you get older, you start to realize, you know, what about the people around? How do you look? You know, imagine... All these Mexicans, Mexicans, man, all Chicano, Mexicanos fighting each other over colors or fighting each other over a philosophy and, and over, over drama that started way before us with the, behind prison walls. We're all fighting over here at a foster freeze and there's kids and there's, there's pregnant women and there's fucking white guys just trying to get them an ice cream cone. And they're looking at us like, damn, homie, you guys ruined everything. Can't go to the fair. Can't go to the movies. You know what I mean? Can't go to fucking foster freeze. Fuck with us. Go home already. Listen to your heifa. Shit. I know you got roaches and shit, but step on them. Do something. It was that type of way, man. Um, but I'm going to tell you something about the 90s. We sure wiggled. It, it, we didn't care, man. We didn't care how we looked. Now, in hindsight, you know, looking back at the situations that I involved myself in, because I fully involved myself in them. I had choices, right? And I, and I made the ones that I made. I won't say they're right or wrong. I just made the ones I made. Um, I'll tell you right now how embarrassing how embarrassing, man. Let me tell you something. The other day I was at, I was at the store, right? Um, Wayne Co. Foods. You know, I was just getting my little fucking shit. You know what I mean? Get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Anyways, I'm doing my thing. And I get in line and, you know, it's a fucking long line and they break the lines off. Anyways, this fucking chick, this uh, Africana chick, she opens up a line. She's like, come on, the next girl. So this other Africana runs over there. Boom. This white guy starts getting low to the brain. They start to argue in the store. This dude wants to fucking choke her out. Another fucking Mexicano dude comes. He's like, hey, bro, I ain't going to let you hit a woman. It got all crazy, and I was embarrassed for him. The hair on the back of my neck stood up, and I was bald, right? And I was looking like, this shit's embarrassing, right? Very embarrassing, man. I see young gang members walk into the store. So this is going on. A couple little young bottles walk into the store, no threat, right? They walk in, and I could see the way people are looking at them, shaking their heads, you know, of course, you're not supposed to judge anyone. And of course, those are my raza. So I feel a certain way, you know. So this one white guy, he's kind of shaking his head. And I said, well, what's up? He's like, no, no, nothing. It's just, you know, uh, these guys, man, you know, you just, you, you can't never, you always have to worry about what people are going to do when they come in. I said, yeah, yeah. What about that fucking Asian dude that just came in with the high waters and the moccasins on? Are you worried about him? Ah, oh, he's fine. He's tax paying, right? It was all good. So now that I think as an older Volto, man, how our gente is looked at, you know, how we were looked at, man. I just shake my head. I was one of those vatos, non tax paid ass gangbanger. He was right, though. I wasn't. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, man, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the struggle to strive and the strive to struggle. We're going to continue to do what we do as a people, man. We need to come together to understand, man, that I'm tired of being laughed at. I'm tired of seeing my gente laughed at. I'm tired of these youngsters with all these tattoos on their face on TikTok shaking their ass, getting laughed at, homes. Hey, you know what I mean? We're just trying to do our thing, man. Let us do our thing, right? In order to get that respect, man, you have to earn it. And the way to earn it, man, is to stop doing frivolous bullshit. Stop gang banging on each other, man. You know, you need to stop gang banging and start gang banging them books. What Compton Men is saying and straight out of Compton, you know what it is. 
Bang, bang, man. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle, struggle and strive for what I truly believe in, man. And that's bringing you guys the best content I can. I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you for the support. Bang, bang.